All right. Before we get into all that, let me open up the software, show you guys what I'm talking about. Got it right here. Hey, uh, and uh, just give me a break on my computer right now. It's a bit slow because uh, my desktop actually is having issues right now, so I'm using a, a shitty old laptop. But anyway, so this is Instaproxy. It seems pretty basic, but this little thing is powerful, man. So over here in settings, you can set the your username and password that you want to set for your proxies. And you also put your API keys for all these different uh, proxy providers. Not proxy providers, but server providers. So what it does is it, it uses a server providers like Vulture or Microsoft and IBM and stuff. And uh, it creates service for you at a cheap price. So... I already have everything set up, so you can just pick the pick which one you want and uh the region that you want it for, put how many you want to create. So I already created five, but let's create five more. Uh, let's go over here. Alright. Let's make five more. Just for the for video purposes. It takes a while sometimes. I think it's because my computer is really slow right now. But, uh, and also, you know, it has to launch the server, build the server, and, and create the proxy for you. Uh, it doesn't take too long. I'd say about five, ten minutes to get five of them done. I'm pretty sure if I was doing it on my server, it'll go a lot faster. But, uh, so yeah, while, while it's creating that, let's go and, uh, let's go and look at, at their website. So, oh, where is it? Okay, so Instaproxy. I mean, you guys can go visit them and, and uh, check out what they have, but it's pretty much you create your own proxies, man. You don't have to worry about finding a proxy provider and paying monthly. You just pay when you need it, you know? And uh, they have a, bu a bunch of different providers, and each one is good for specific sites, so... They they'll they'll let you know once you sign up with them, he'll let you know. Hey, uh, use this provider for Supreme. Use this provider for Adidas. Use this for Nike or for Sh Shopify and stuff like that. And uh, but anyway, so it's fully automated. It will create the proxies for you. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to run any scripts or anything like that. Uh, you can set it to uh, um, you know, uh, set your IP password and username. Um. Yep. So you got to do is uh when you get it, you uh you set up the API instructions. It, at first it seems a little confusing. I'm sure what I'm talking about, but it's actually really really easy. And the guy's pretty uh he's pretty cool, man. You can send him a DM and he'll he'll show you what to do. You know, I ran into a couple issues and uh, it was stupid stuff, you know, on my part, but he showed me how to how to fix it. So like for Amazon. You know, these are the steps, pretty much, how to get it set up so you could create Amazon proxies. All right, so let's look at the pricing for it. So you could get a one-year license, or you could get a monthly subscription. You know, right now I'm running on the monthly because I just wanted to give it a try. And uh, but honestly, man, it, it's it's pretty dope. Man, I got I gotta, I'm gonna have to stick with it. So this is for Windows. You get it from Mac too. So for thirty four ninety nine, you can uh, have access to this for one month. I know it seems pretty steep when you think in, at first, but it really isn't, man. If you're paying monthly for a whole bunch of, or if you're paying for like, you know how they get these guys now they're selling these twenty four hour proxies and all that stuff, you actually save money, man. You only, you know, you only create proxies when you need them, and if nothing's coming out, then don't make any proxies, you know. So, let's go into some of the facts. Man, this computer's slow. Anyway, so how many proxies can I create? So each server provider here has their limits, but every account is different. So, you know, like over here it says 32 instances for Microsoft or, uh, you know, Vulture 15 instances. You know, if you ask them to, to increase your limit, I'm sure they'll work with you, especially if you've been dealing with these sites for a while i'm pretty sure they'll work with you especially microsoft they'll they'll let you upgrade you know depending on how much you use them 
So you can start with Microsoft. If you can actually get two hundred dollars for uh, the first month free, it's like a free trial. But if you do that, then you definitely can only use like four per region. You know, but if you upgrade to pay as you go, then they'll they'll hook you up. You start off with like ten per region, and and you can ask them to upgrade to even like fifty or a hundred or whatever. But anyway, so how much do these proxies cost to run? So when I'm doing all this, it's making the proxies in the background. I think it's already done. I like to give it a couple minutes after it's done because you know it's still booting up the server. And I'll show you guys. I'll run it on Supreme. I know Supreme is pretty hot right now, proxy wise. Okay, so uh, so if like uh, Amazon, you know, one proxy will cost you point zero zero six five an hour. So it's literally like half a penny an hour for each proxy. That's freaking insane. Uh, Vulture, same thing, almost a penny. Uh, Microsoft's about two cents. Yeah, man, you can't really uh can't beat that man uh, updates are free you know you can only have it uh you can only have it, have it activated on one machine at a time that's pretty standard with any software um so yeah let's go ahead and uh go back to the software and show you how this thing works so I'm gonna go ahead and copy the list of proxies that I just made all right hopefully they're ready to go and let's go open up my server all right let's go import these proxies this is a supreme slayer i always check my my proxies with with supreme slayer i don't know why i think it's the most reliable proxy tracker i guess whatever uh, so updated now here comes the moment of truth let's test the proxies these are all the proxies I just made. You can check it out at 40, 71, 219. Just so you guys don't think I'm lying to you. What is it? 40, 71, 219. These are the proxies I just created using InstaProxy. Where's my server? All right. So let's go ahead and test this thing. See, these failed because these are the proxies I just made. So I got to give them a little more time. But I bet if I give it like five more minutes... For the server to actually boot up, it uh, it'll pass. They'll be good. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait a couple minutes. I'll fast forward this, and then we'll come back. Okay, I'm back, guys. Uh, I had to wait a couple minutes to make sure that the because sometimes when it, it creates the proxy, I mean the server's still not fully booted yet, so it won't work when you check them. Just gotta give it a couple minutes, and uh, and it'll start working. If they tell you in the top two, please allow three to five minutes after all servers have been successfully created before testing and using proxies. Okay, so uh, I just want to show you these are the proxies, so you don't think I'm trying to pull a switch rule or anything like that. Like five two one seven nine one two zero four nine. Let's go back to the server. And I already checked them to make sure they're working. There was one that wasn't working. Five two one seven nine one two, blazy blazy blah. There you go. Let's go ahead and test them again. For some reason, this proxy was no good. I mean, that's not too bad. One out of what? It's like a ten or nine here. So that's not too bad. You know, I'll just delete that and delete that server and just make more if I needed it. But if you look at the the uh, the ping speeds, man, these pings are awesome. So you got ten. 19, 8, 19, 9. I mean, that's super fast. Freaking, uh, I mean, that's pretty much as good as it gets without actually being in the freaking in Supreme server, honestly. Like, this is as good as it's gonna get. Again, I have one bad proxy out of the 10 or so, and I'll take that any day, you know. So, what I'll do is see 104.41.157. Just go ahead, come right here. That's this proxy right here. Click on that and destroy the selected server. Too easy. See? It's processing the uh, destruction of that server. And that's it, man. 
So as you can see, man, this thing is pretty freaking awesome. Um, I'm, I haven't really tried to cop anything, but this month, the sneaker game is going to be crazy with all the Yeezys dropping, the Pharrells. Um, uh, you know, they have proxies with this tool that work on Adidas, so I'm stoked about that. And I have a good feeling, you know, I haven't really have been going after Supreme lately. I've just been waiting for the, like, I'm just waiting for, like, the super hype freaking items, man, that I, I just can't miss. And uh, as soon as they come out, like some box logos or something, I'm sure I'll be using this tool to cop. All right, man, uh... Again, uh, if you wanna, if you're interested in this, you know, I, I'll leave the link in the description so you can go check them out. I mean, thirty-four ninety-nine for one month. I mean, it's not, it's, it's worth giving them a try. You know, use it for one. I think this this is probably gonna be the hottest month anyway. So you can use it for one month and then just let your subscription end and just wait for another hot month or another big release to come out to use it again. Uh, that's probably what I'm gonna do depending on what's coming out in December and everything. But uh yeah, um like, comment, subscribe. Um again, uh you know, follow me on Twitter and I'll leave the link in the description. If you do cop from them or you hit them up on in, on uh Twitter, let them know that uh that I sent you J Soul Hype Beast TV, let them know I sent you. You know, and um yeah, I see you. Good luck guys this month. It's going to be crazy. And uh, hopefully everyone can get Yeezys. That'll be dope. All right, guys. God bless, and I'll see you next time. Peace.